Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dust Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another headband tutorial. And if you want to see all my other headbands, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful headband, which is crocheted in this uh, yarn from We Are Knitters. I have the very big one and the thin one, and the one today will be in the thin type. So I will be showing you from the very beginning to the end exactly how to do this headband. It's very easy so everyone can follow along. Let's begin. First a little about the materials. I have used this yarn from We Are Knitters. It's 100% wool and they have the big kind which is the wool but this is the petite wool so it's a little thinner. I guess it's a medium weight 4 maybe bulky 5. Um, yeah. You can see the color I've used is a, I like the name, Yarnicorn. <laughs> like unicorn, but it's yarn, you know. <laughs> uh, you see the info right here. Yeah. And I will, of course, write down in the description how much yarn you will need and also where you can find this yarn. Then I've used a 6mm crochet hook and some scissors and a tapestry needle. I begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, wrap it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then I create a chain of 63. So you yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. 63 times in total. When you have 63 chains, you can try measuring it around your head and make sure it fits. It should fit around your head loosely. Now we will crochet into these chains and you will skip the first two chains. So skip these two, move on to the third chain and half double crochet into this. So you yarn over, then you insert the hook in the third chain and then you finish your half double crochet. So yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then find your next chain down here, this one. Do a half double crochet into this, so yarn over. Insert the hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on the hook. Now you yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's two half double crochets. Find your next chain at the bottom. Yarn over. Insert the hook in the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Continue with one half double crochet in every chain all the way across. When you're all the way at the other end, your first row should look like this. Now we will chain two and turn the work. So yarn over, pull through twice. Then you turn. And then you skip the first two chains and work into the third stitch. Now we will only be working through the back loop of the stitch. So this is the entire stitch, but we will only be working through the back loop. So this one is the back loop of the stitch. We will still be working with half double crochet, but only through the back loop of the stitch. So you yarn over to begin your half double crochet. And then you skip your two turning chains and in the third stitch you insert the hook through the back loop of the stitch and then you finish your half double crochet just like the first row then you find your next stitch this one this is your next stitch you will now do a half double crochet through the back loop of this stitch so yarn over insert the hook through the back loop of this stitch then yarn over and pull through so you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three of these loops okay and just continue all the way across with one back loop half double crochet in each stitch so yarn over to begin with find your next stitch go through the back loop of it and finish your half double crochet all right Work your way all the way to the other end 
then chain two and turn, and then you just repeat this row again. So work one back loop half double crochet in each stitch back and forth until you have 11 rows in total. And this looks like this. So now find your scissors and then cut the yarn. Remember leaving a long tail for sewing. And then you find your loop and then you just pull the yarn through this loop so you secure the yarn. Now you find your huge tapestry needle and you thread it. And I think I got too much yarn. I would just cut a bit of it off. So now you decide which one of these is your front and which is the back. I think this should be my front. So I will fold it like this. So I have the back out and the front on the inside. So let the front face up and then fold your headband. Now you will sew the ends together. And the way you do this is that you take both ends and fold them like this. So they can kind of like uh, grab each other like this. And then you just push them in so they meet all the way at the middle. So there is no gap in here. You just fold them so all four layers is uh, upon each other, on top of each other, like this. And then you will sew this together. I will just secure the yarn. So now you take your needle and you push through all four layers, like this. And you do this all the way across. So make sure to get a little bit of all four layers all the way across. So just sew back and forth until you are completely satisfied with it. Uh, it is staying together. So I will sew once this way and once all the way back again. And when you're all the way back and forth, how many times you would like it to be, then you just weave in the end. Of course, still on the back side of it. I will go back and forth three times underneath the same stitches like this. And then I am totally secure that it will stay put. Like this, cut the yarn and then the easiest headband ever and the cutest one as well. And this yarn is so adorable and nice and warm and squishy and I just love it. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.